That's Jethro Tull and My God, and it's 11.32. We're WLIRFM 92.7 in stereo. I'm Bob Wall for Ben Manila, and we're going to push the blimp back a few minutes because Steve North is here with an update on the John Lennon story. And the details are just very sketchy right now. I did just get off the phone with a sergeant from the 20th Precinct, which covers the Central Park West area, the Dakota, where uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono live, and this is what he had to say. And what about a suspect? In custody. And any identification on him? Uh, unknown. He's a male, white, approximately 30 to 35. Although the officer said tentatively identified, he did say to me afterwards that it was confirmed that it was John Lennon. He said that he was shot in the chest and seriously wounded. That's all we know. He was rushed in a police car to Roosevelt Hospital. That is all we know about his condition now. We will, of course, uh, keep you up to date on that. As for the suspect, they describe him as a local screwball with no apparent motive for shooting at Lennon. Again, the details are still sketchy. We'll let you know about um, John Lennon's condition as soon as we find out more about it. I'm Steve North, and we're WLIRFM at 92.7 in stereo. Next news blimp down at uh, 4.30 tomorrow morning with Larry Dunn, who will be in for me. I'm Bob Waugh for Ben Manila, and uh, we're WLIRFM 92.7 in stereo. Again, uh, just to reiterate, we have reports that a man identified as John Lennon was found shot this evening in New York. Steve North is here Again, with more information for us. And the information is that New York City police say that John Lennon is dead. And uh, that's all we know. Is there any other details on the way? Uh, no, we're in, touch with, uh, we're in touch with some people who are uh, in the area. And uh, they will be calling us and um, uh, just giving us more details. But uh, that says it. Thank you, Steve. It's not too much you can say in moments like this, I guess. You're at LIRFM.